Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Sasha soul in the building. Now check this out, man. Go sit down somewhere, big head. Now check this out, hold on. Now check this out, man. So look, we got a 12 year old that sold her soul. Her soul is gone. Now the 12 year old cussed me the fuck out, cussed me out, listen. She left me a full, listen, she left me a full paragraph. You know what I'm saying? Cuss me the fuck out. She left me a full paragraph cussing me the fuck out. Now listen, before, before I get to this video, check this out. For all my new subscribers, um, I dropped a video in the past about what happens if you sell your soul. Now, as I'm getting more and more to my higher self and meditating and taking care of myself, Bro, if you somebody out here that go through a lot of stress and depression and you just somebody out here that don't really love yourself in general, you are vulnerable to getting your soul snatched by anything in the first place. You don't have to sign or sell anything. You're naturally vulnerable. This is hell. It's a lot going on now. It's all type of. So while you going all crazy and partying and turning up and rapping and doing what you doing, your soul is being very, very tested by a lot of stuff that you can't see with these two eyes. Understand that. It's a spirit world just like it's our world. So while we live in life, doing homework, going to school, the spirit world lives life too on this same exact shit that we own that you can't see with these two eyes. So if your third eye is not open, you basically, you fucking blind, bro. You can't see shit, my nigga. You can't see nothing. So when we talking about selling your soul and all this shit, it, it, celebrities is not the only ones going through this shit. You could be going through this right now. It's a lot of people who be who are not they, they self, man. Understand, you ain't got no friends, no family members who be one day they good, the next day they just, man, this bipolar shit is just a cover up for what's really going on. One day they all such and such and such, next day they completely fucking different. One minute, one hour, they all good. Next hour, they completely different. Those those type people are so vulnerable for this type shit. You got to pay attention to who around you. So listen. So this toy-year-old, she said, I spent hours typing my witchcraft experience. You don't care. Now I think you fake. She said, now that you didn't answer countless of my emails, you're not going to read this. So fuck you, motherfucker. Damn, fuck me, man. Fuck you. Shit, I, I got us home. No, that's tough. See, my soul is here. I'm not, you emailing me. I'm not. This is why you got to protect your energy. It's easy to get involved with this type shit. See how low her vibration is? She mad at me because I ain't see her emails. Hundreds of thousands of people watch my vids. She thinks she the only one emailing me. Now listen, she said, she said, now that you didn't answer countless of my emails, I know you're not going to read this. So fuck you, motherfucker. I wrote my heart and soul and energy out. You a fake ass, dumb ass YouTuber. Your chemtrail talks are stupid. You just proved me, proved how dumb you are. So shut the fuck up, spiritual soul, you gay as fuck. Now listen, imagine, this is what she sent me after I didn't see her emails. Imagine if I took all my time out to help this girl. Look what type of person this really is. See what I'm saying? You have to protect your energy. This is how some of the chosen ones get caught up in bullshit. This could be not just with this situation, anything. You could be fucking with a female that set you up or something. They all are, bro, this is a spiritual war going on. A lot of souls is getting snatched. These motherfuckers are just like, they body, like the Matrix. When you watch the Matrix, when, 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 what's his name? When he turned, when he could turn into anybody. You killed a motherfucker, the nigga that turned it to the next person. You got killed. Bro, that's how these souls be taking over people's bodies. Having them doing all type of different shit. That's how these fucking demons be doing y'all motherfuckers. Now listen. Had you arguing, cussing out, then had you apologizing the next day. It wasn't you that did this shit in the first place. So listen. Her vibration is very low. I'm not going to scoop down to her level, but she basically mad at me. So let me give y'all an idea because she sent me a full paragraph. She basically said that she, she met... Two students when she was in school, 444. She met two students when she was in school and they had a book of, of, of spells, some shit. So they basically told her to do the spell. Let me read something to y'all. So look, she said, 
A few years ago, she met two warlocks in school. They were both a level two. I don't know what the fuck she talking about, but I'm about to just read it to you. They had a, a very book. They had an old, very good book of shadows and spells, and they said it worked first try. Please feel my energy on this. This is all facts. I don't feel your energy, sis. Simple. Now she said, please feel my energy on this. This is all facts. I want you to hook me up with a witch so I can undo this binding spell. What makes you think so much spiritual? So what makes you think I know a fucking witch? Do I look like I'm one of these niggas that's re- Oh my God. Do I look like a nigga, a priest or something that's gonna- So I'm gonna sit here and find a witch and we gonna read you some books to get this shit up. Do I look like I know how to do that shit? Do I look like I'm fucking with witches? Who do you think I am? Uh, what's your name? Kayla. What do you think I am? I don't know no witches. The fuck? Shit. Sasha, you and Sasha might know some. Now listen. She said she want me to hook her up with a witch so she can do these, so she can undo these binding spells that and the powers that they put on her. Please, I'm sick. I'm waiting. I'm going to die from suicide if nobody helps me. Ain't that about a bit? Look at this shit. Old girl said, if I don't find her no witch, she's going to commit suicide. Now, all my new subscribers, I dropped a video about what happens when you pass away or if you commit suicide. You're just going to have to come back and do this shit all over again. You're going to have to witness everything, all the hurt that you put. Every It's going to be tough for you. But what you got to understand, the reason why y'all probably see me reacting like, no, I'm not affected by this low vibrational shit. I'm not affected by deaths, bro. Passing away, death is a beautiful thing. You learn from your death. It's a rebirth after every death until you learn and serve your karma. Become your higher self. Becoming your higher self is serving your karma because once you become your higher self, that's who you truly are. You're not you who you are right now. Your higher self don't care about likes, followers, money, nothing. You, you feel unconditional love from God. You have all that already. That's how you naturally feel. I'm my higher self. You're not going to trip on this shit you, unless you choose to. You have a choice. See the difference? Instead of you jumping into shit, not knowing nothing, and then having to suffer the consequences, you just can observe the bullshit and, and decide if you want to... I can't help you, but I'm going to go ahead and drop this video. Hopefully, somebody can help you. That's the choice I'm making. Now, listen. But the old me? Say goodbye. Lucky you. Now, listen. Your email, everything would have been on here. I would have put your email out there. That's how I used to be. Now, listen. She said, let me tell you all this. She said she had to pick a fallen angel, so she picked Babylon. She said then they wanted her to change her name, so she picked Lavender. And he replied, that's a good name. Then he wrote down on a piece of paper some words, and he said, you don't have to say the words perfect or loud. He said, just try to say it, and the spirits will hear you. I want to let y'all know this right now. If you've been watching my videos, I know y'all heard me talk about spirit guides and all this stuff. Don't ever call out anything when you meditate and all this different shit. Don't call out nothing at all, unless it's God, my nigga. Don't sit there and call out anything unless you really know what you connected to. Because these motherfucking demons can play tricks on you. They can have you thinking you connected with something and you connected with something totally different that we don't know about. You understand me? So you get like how these motherfuckers played a trick on her? Don't fall for it. Remember, pay attention to everything. Focus on yourself. Mute out this matrix. Focus on yourself. Connect with your higher self. Let your higher self choose. Let your higher self choose for you. Don't call out nothing. The fuck? But she said that the spirits will hear you. And they said, say the spell quietly at midnight. And she said she going to say it in a few hours because it was noon. So when she got home, she was going to say the spell. So she said as soon as it got noon, she said the spell, then whoosh, a ton of energy went through her arm. And she said it hurt it so bad. It scared her. And then she said a half an hour later, it was gone. 
And he said, come, come back to me. And then she said, keep in mind, if you could feel my energy on this, this is all facts. This is no lie. Please, I'm writing you. She just basically started writing a whole bunch of bullshit. But basically, these, these, these quote-unquote witches or warlocks that put the spell on her, she said the two of the students got expelled from school the next day. So they put a spell on her the next day they got expelled from school. I don't even know how that's possible. But to make a long story short, bro, she got a lot of fucking shit in here, bro. She got a lot of stuff in there. Hopefully y'all didn't see the music. I'll be, like, I'll, be, I'll be listening to my classic R&B songs. I'm not gonna lie. Hope y'all ain't see that playlist though. But listen, anyway, so I want y'all to know this. When it comes to selling your soul, it don't matter. You don't have to be a celebrity. It don't matter who you are. Your soul is vulnerable if you're not taking care of yourself. So don't let none of these movies, all this shit trick you. You have to understand this shit is serious out here. But as far as this girl is, bro, she says she need a witch. I don't have a witch. She said if I don't find her no witch, she's going to commit suicide. I would never put that much pressure. I would never put that type of pressure on anyone. That is just so clearly she not herself, but that is just so fucking that is just so selfish of her. But um, if anybody can help this young lady, man, hopefully just let me know. Email me, man, if y'all can help her. If y'all know some witches, if y'all know some witches, then we'll see what happens. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Take care of yourself. Protect your energy. It's a lot of people out here that's going through a lot. You don't want to be involved with it. Protect your energy, man. Focus on you. Become your true self. Connect with your higher self. Learn how to meditate. Eat healthy. You would be all right. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Anyway, man, I love y'all, man. Spiritual results signing off.